Well, first Holmes was born, then he got fat, bald, and tired, tired, tired. What's up, Holmes? Well, first Holmes was born, then he got fat. Are you going to say anything else? Oh, sure. Is it, did the intro play already? That's what I meant by we're live. Oh! <laughs> thanks, Conrad. Welcome, everybody, to episode two of Subholms. I'm here with uh, Tommy Refinis and Shannon Ge Gregory. Shannon, you might remember from uh, last year at E3, she showed me how to play the Wii U. And Tommy, you may remember from Indie Game the Movie and from making Super Meat Boy, at least making uh, a lot of it. How much of that game did you make in percent, Tommy? In percent? Yeah. Uh, I would say 70. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, it was That's a lot. 70 because I did all the programming. And that's, that's a lo much longer job than the design. It's, well, it's made out of programming, right? It's it's there wouldn't there wouldn't be a game without the programming. True. So you're kind of the DNA of the game, whereas like Edmund guy, he just I'm not familiar. Like I'm not familiar with that term, DNA. <laughs> is that, is I can that really tell that, I'll uh, I'll send you a link later. I'll send you a hot link. He doesn't believe in that. science. I don't I don't believe in science. I I, I follow the Bible. Oh, good. I've read it. I've read it, too. And you're I Shannon. How are you I, I haven't read it. I, I follow it. <laughs> you believe it, but you haven't seen it. Yet. No, yeah, yeah. I just, I just, she walks around with the Bible and I follow it. Yeah, it's funny. Who follows? Who's got a Bible now? I just carry the Bible around and he follows it. That's, it's like a, And you, I'm, yeah, I'm glad you're talking. Now you can tell me who you are. I announced you, but now I want to hear in your own words. Who are you, Shannon? Who are you? I'm <laughs> just a girl that likes video games. and You're more than that. I'm Tommy's girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys are still together? I was all nervous that yeah. by the time we actually did the show, you would have had no, like a dramatic breakup. Morning, just to add drama. Yeah, yeah. I was going to break up with her this morning so yeah. the show could be awful. Yeah. <laughs> so, it could just, it, so it could be like an episode of like some stupid MTV reality show. Yes. And I'll like oh. put the table and then some guy will come in and punch her in the face. And it is going to be a you mess. Know, like, you know, I was on one of those shows once. You, what? Yeah, I was on one of those shows a while ago. Oh, I heard you were on the real world. I heard about that. It was the road <laughs> yeah. It's similar. It's like the real world, but less popular. Yeah. You, you were on real it was, world? It's, it's, it's the real world in um, a trailer. Understand. Yeah. It's uh, it's a thing I did when I was a youth, when I was yeah. just a young man. Really? Coming up in the world. Yeah. I, I did that will find this and yeah. watch it. You won't, which is what I love about it. It came I out have, right before the internet happened. I have contacts <laughs> at MTV. I'm sure I can find it. Mm -hmm. Well, they did. They never released it on VHS. Actually, they gave me VHS tapes of it that my mom like keeps in a safe because she thinks it's the best thing that ever happened, ever, that I was on TV that's, for like a That's year. pretty amazing. I remember... Yeah, we've both been the subject of documentaries. We could talk about that sometime. Yeah, we could. The editing process and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, yeah, Road, Road Rules is a documentary. It is. <laughs> yeah, man. It kind of is. Except it's, uh, it is to documentaries what uh, caricature art is to, like, painting. You know, it's like, just way. take his yeah. biggest features and draw them real big and then just call it a documentary. That's that funny. is a very good way to put it. It's, oh, thank you, sir. It's, it's I have been talking about it for... Documentary modern, light. It's modern art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah nice. So the, the subject of today's show is going to be uh, dating sex. <laughs> I'm not good Sorry, at you, you guys don't have to talk about sex. He's, not, just, he's no. not good at the dating part. I'm not... I'm yeah. not yeah, I'm not good at any. I'm not good at any of it. Yeah. Well, you can give advice all the same, and it could be terrible advice, it's but it's still luck. technically advice yeah. on sex, yeah. love, and dating we for gamers. Because yeah, it's almost it's... Valentine's Day, you know. Last Valentine's Day, I I was gonna blow my brains out, <laughs> I, and, I, and I wasn't even alone. I, I had a, you you had a, 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 a significant other. No, this had nothing to do with her. <laughs> 
As with someone else. Oh, okay. Yeah. You guys started dating uh, last year, right? In August. August 7th. August 7th. I even Aww. have a little, yeah. I have a little rag that has that printed on it. Because yeah, I went we... to a baseball game and they gave me a rag that said the date on it for some reason. <laughs> we... <laughs> we had a, a rag? Was it clean? I had a work event there and we had a little... Uh, yeah, they gave a me a orange we rag. To, we went to a Giants game and we had some little giveaway things. So. Yeah. It was a game of regular sized people. Yeah, it wasn't giants. Like, it was <laughs> yeah. regular sized people that happened to have that name. It was in a, a giant stadium, though. Yeah. Like, the stadium was actually stadium. pretty big. Yeah. Like, big enough to accommodate giants if, if necessary. Like, maybe one. Maybe like two. Was or it three. A, if it's a hill giant? Yeah. Probably a few. Yeah, yeah. But if it's like. A Shadow of the Colossus. Shadow, yeah, if it's a Shadow of the Colossus. Oh, right, right. No, it, Probably there's that little dog Colossus. He's yeah. just running around biting stuff. He's cute. Yeah. 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 I'd like to see him in a baseball game. Or was it football? What's the Giants? What do they do? What the, do they have to do? Giants are a football team and a baseball team. At the same time. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's the, in New York, they are a football team. In San Francisco, ah. they are a baseball team. And we went to the baseball game. It's true. And Tommy's actually really great at commenting. I know I know game. all the stuff um, that's going on. Yeah, because he doesn't know what's going on. He makes it up. And no, I, oh, I do that too. I know, I know what's going on. I know what's going on. What's going on, Tommy? Tell me. It, it, is, it would be like, Joey's coming out to the bubble and throwing throwing the ball. He's going back. He's he's gonna he's gonna round the square. <laughs> this is the, the whole game. Is this? <laughs> yeah. And that's the goal. I have to. Uh, uh, product make... placement. <laughs> <laughs> I almost wore that shirt, but I thought it would be gratuitous. Instead, I'm wearing. Uh, I went to the Rhythm Heaven Fever party last night and got this shirt with a monkey on it. I'm a little bit jealous. Nice. Yeah, I have uh, I have a couple extras. I could try to get them to you if you want. Um, large and medium is all they had left. <laughs> but we should start talking about sex and advice. Because yeah. people are going to be disappointed if we don't. They're going to be like, I came to hear the bald man and the man with the shaved head and the beautiful woman talk about Oh, I sex. thought I was the shaved head. I'm not bald. <laughs> no, you're shaved head. I'm bald. Actually, I am bald. <laughs> like, I'm balding. If you look here. Oh, yeah. That's like when Kate Moss says I'm getting fat. Like what you're doing right now. Yeah. No, no, like no. You're, look, you're, look, look, look at look, me. Let me tell you what you have versus what I've I have. Got full okay? Norman Osborn going. Yeah, see, it's you, have, nice... you have stuff going away. Mine is just fading into oblivion. Like if oh. I grow this out, I look like um, I, I look like somebody who has just recently been burnt, <laughs> and like my hair is just growing back. That's what I look like if if I let it grow out. So I can't let it grow out. Otherwise, I I look very odd. I look I look like the the. I look like this. I'll, I'll put it in the chat. Did you no, see no, it? No, they can't, they can't see the chat. Oh, I did. I don't know how to make that pop up into our world, though. You hit the chat button, but, but but that's that's Wait. what I look like. He already has that, but uh, there's different chats. Oh, I don't know where the other chat is. There's just search awesome. for albino Africans, and that's what I look like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everyone watching the show. Please search for that. So let's start on personal appearance. When you're going to ask uh, someone out on a date, uh, do you like, are you willing to wear a video game shirt on the date? Or like when you ask them out on the date, how much do you want to reveal early in? And this is for you too, Shannon, because I've heard, it's hard for me to believe, but I have heard that some women have been rejected on site or on first meeting because they're like, oh yeah, I work for a video game company or I like video games. Or, you know, what'd you do last weekend? Oh, I got the new Zelda game and played it and stuff. I've heard women actually get dissed hard for that. It's actually it's awkward. That has not. I don't generally like go up to a guy wearing a video game shirt and be like, "Hey, dude, let's make this happen." <laughs> but when you're dating someone and you happen to enjoy video games, a lot of I don't know if it's just the Bay Area, but a lot of guys here don't play video games. So I tend really? to be one playing video games, and they wouldn't be. And I, huh. um, until I started dating Tommy, I literally had had dated maybe one or two people that had played video games. Really? Yeah. It's really awkward. Huh. Really Did awkward. you find that that changed at a certain, like, age? That, like, guys around you kind of grew out of video games? Or has it always been that way? 
Well, I don't know. I I was I was not single until I was about 26, and then oh, okay. I, I, that's when I started dating, and I was having a really hard time finding anyone that I had common ground with in the video game department. And how did you find Tommy exactly? Who who helped you two get together? Just wondering. Uh, some bald guy that was on the real world. Yeah, this real so, world. Like road rules. Road rules. <laughs> road rules. Bark, bark, bald guy. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. I didn't really do that much, but we were gonna do another kind of animated talk show, and I wanted Shannon to be like my Ed McMahon, and Tommy was gonna be Edmund, and Tommy were gonna be guests, and that never happened. But yeah. because of that, you at least got each other's like emails and stuff, and that kind of yeah. helped, right? <laughs> you know? Yeah. So we had an event that um, when Super Meat Boy was going to be on our platform before it got too big. Uh, uh, WeWare? I'll, I'll say it. The WeWare. Yeah, yeah. Does sure <laughs> <can. laughs> anybody remember WeWare? <laughs> remember that thing? <laughs> what, what was that? I'm so going to get fired. You're not going to get fired. <laughs> they don't no, even sure. remember what WeWare is. Yeah, anyway. it's fine. <laughs> Tommy was there and I was doing, it was my very first demo, it was, um, I had never done demos before, I didn't know what I was doing, I, I knew that I liked playing video games, um, so I, <laughs> I played the game a couple times and then I started uh, doing demos and then uh, Tommy and Ed were right in front of my uh, station doing demos for Meat Boy, so they... Can I say what game it was, or do you not want I me to say? I don't want to talk about where it. It was okay. I won't say what it was, but what, it was a it was huge disappointment. For personally, for you. For for a lot of people. He just didn't enjoy it as much as other games. I didn't enjoy. A it. WiiWare game was a huge disappointment. No, 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 it wasn't a WiiWare game. It was a it was a Wii game. A Wii game that was a huge disappointment to you. I know that's a huge net to cast. <laughs> Never and she, uh, the, the, the company you're talking about in referring to it as a disappointment may or may not employ someone close to you. Yeah. yeah. This uh, is true. But, okay, okay. That company didn't make the yep. game. They didn't make the game. It was a second party title. It was a second party title by a company that shouldn't have made this game. Oh. We've narrowed it down pretty hard, haven't we? Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's all we'll okay. say. Anyways, that game it's like not good. Brother Jim? Yeah. Brother Jim? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Someone's, someone's Do you like Jim and the holograms? Oh, yeah, I love Jim and the holograms. Someone's at my door. Yeah, awkward. We never get the doorbell. Yeah, no, my doorbell never rings, so let me uh, <laughs> see what's going on. Yes, if I, it's probably Nintendo. Yeah. If I get murdered. It's probably the makers of Brother Jim all pissed off. Gonna give Tommy a talking to. <laughs> so Shannon, now it's just you yes, and me. This is cool. me. This now is all I really want. Getting fired anymore. <laughs> People explicitly said, "Don't have Tommy on the show. Don't okay. do it. Just Shannon. That's all they wanted." And now, now it's just you and me. So okay. do all that stuff you wanted to do with Tommy not here. Just do it now. What you just kidding. <laughs> I'm not allowed is to say bad words anymore. You're not allowed to swear either. No, no, just because I, I think families might be watching. You are just... God. Hey, look, look you really this. care about the people. Look at this. Got a gift. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I send these to myself every day to make me what happy. Did, what did you do? This is a, it's, a, it's called an edible arrangement. <laughs> you um, can only eat like one part of that before you die. It's not true. There's, there's fruit in there. I'm, fruit's good. This is from this is from my mom and my grandma and everybody, or not my grandma. My grand my grandma's watching this thing. But you know this this doubles mom. as a uh, audio podcast too. So j just for the listeners, oh, no, for the, okay. how can we pl can we please describe your edible arrangement, Tom? It is an arrangement that, that is, is edible. That is edible. Uh, what they do is these people take fruit and and they make them into flowers and then you eat them. Yeah, it's, and they put them on, it's like fruit kebabs. It's beautiful and delicious. It does look pretty good. Yeah, it's all, it's all, it's just fruit, and there's some chocolate strawberries in there, and that's pretty good. Well, sit on down, Tommy, and join the yeah. show again, please. Yeah. there you go. I miss you. The show isn't good without you. Just Shannon it just didn't work out, unfortunately. Boring. Okay, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, I'm not used to the door. I don't, I don't usually take, uh, gentleman callers. No. 
<laughs> so back to the love advice. Hopefully, you get some from the, uh, the yes. people who watch the show soon. Because I'm just making up questions for you now. Um, did you guys feel more comfortable dating each other, knowing that you at least both kind of liked video games at the very least? Like Tommy, when you were going to approach, huh? What's that? When you uh, met Shannon, was the fact that she uh, at least sort of liked video games, given her uh, job, was that something that kind of gave you a sense that you might have an in? In, in a way, <laughs> yes. Well, I mean, based on our first, um, based on our first like interaction at the at the thing that we can't really talk about the the, the event. It was an event. Yeah. The event where I played the game. Um, mm. Based on that, I was excited because, um, yeah, it was, it was, uh, from all, all I knew of her at that time was pretty girl that likes video games that laughs when I make dumb jokes. It was really funny. I was not. I was cracking up. You, the, I, the one thing I remember about you after that was that you were super funny. Yeah. And apparently he was hitting on me. I, I don't know how to hit on people. But really he was just making jokes and then he never asked for my number. What? Well, yeah, what was I going to, I lived in North Carolina like 3,000 miles away yes. <laughs> and I had but no you money. I remember her. I remember uh, writing to Edmund saying, um, you know, I'm going to be trying to do this animated show. Here's going to be the, the sidekick. She was in these videos we did last year. And Edmund was like, oh, the brown haired one. Yeah. Tommy loved her. Yeah. Uh, he'll it's be on the show. There's a, there's a, there's a, you, so when, when the E3 videos came out, like I was, mm -hmm. I was, uh, I was living in Boone, North Carolina, which is up in the like, it's it's like a little college town because I was dating this this college girl, and yeah, I was dumb and I was living with her, and that was that was that's a whole different awful story. But when those E three videos came out, like I I watched, you know, because I was in your kind of crazy E three video where you ran around in like forty five. End of the show. Yeah. You, you run around in like 45 minutes and stuff so oh yeah yeah, yeah. thanks for being in that i didn't ask you i just you know <laughs> that was the best that. way to do it you like ran up took what you wanted and left you yeah yeah you, yeah. you, you like time. raped an interview out of me <laughs> <laughs> pretty much but so you, you, you'd seen that video so you're like oh, i guess i'll watch some more of these yeah, guys well i was uh, well i was watching e3 coverage anyway because yeah you know, actually i started i started watching e3 coverage in hawaii and that sucked. Oh. And then, um, yeah, no, Hawaii is awful. I wasn't there again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, she wasn't there. Um, I was there with another person. Um, <laughs> but I was I was watching it, and I saw her, and I'm like, I think that's that girl, and mm -hmm. I because I didn't remember her name, and I went to, um, yeah, I, I went to I am, and I'm like, hey Ed, I think this is I think this is that girl from from the, the Nintendo thing. And she's and he's like, yeah, I think it is too. And um, I kind of watched all of those videos because I thought it was her, even though the girl I was currently dating was downstairs. And then and then I actually, <laughs> I actually I in my mind I pawned it off as oh this that that girl that girl on those videos was probably a nutcase too and will make my my, my life miserable. So I just pawned it off as like the little crush that I had on her because I saw her again was uh it was just i'm just going oh the grass is always greener somewhere else she would make my life miserable too and then and then like i broke up with that girl like five days later yes <laughs> for, un for unrelated reasons like, right but, but uh, it sounds like the writing was on the wall at that point when yeah. you're like watching e3 videos which some of them all the videos were good some of the games in the videos were really what people wanted to see and some of them were not at least for the destructoid audience and yet shannon really made those videos worth watching they're still getting like new views all the time people talking I have a about lot of, those are my first video interviews they, like interview period i had never done it before yeah how did that go i, I you didn't know me at all i just showed up well you're easy to talk to you you're a good journalist it's true you are a good journalist i've i've said that publicly mm -hmm. yeah i really appreciate that i uh narcissistically posted that on the internet as soon as i could um we have a question actually coming in from lee Lee asks, uh, what do Tommy and Shannon think are the best games to bond with a loved one over? Uh, Lee remembers at a time when he 
uh, was with a girl and they played Street Fighter Alpha and he showed her how to do the show you can motion and it was like hot and, oh. hot and sexy <laughs> day. So that's pretty awesome. I, I, I'd never think to play Street Fighter with someone who doesn't play video games because it makes you feel bad about yourself immediately because you it's got six yeah. buttons and all these complicated <laughs> motions. I, I would go with Rhythm Heaven Fever actually. I was playing that last night with a bunch of strangers uh, and Sure, it's hard, but it's not uh, not unlike Super Meat Boy, actually. It's hard, but not in a way that makes you feel like it's because you're uncoordinated or physically can't control it. It's just uh, genuine difficulty as opposed to kind of induced difficulty by complexity. Hmm. So I'd go with Rhythm and Fever, but what do you guys think? I think it depends on the level of um, gaming ability that your significant other has. I don't right. think so. Let's say they're they you can't play almost. Street Fighter because I have terrible childhood memories of just being beaten. <laughs> beaten. <laughs> beaten. Just that's Who the end beating of the you? I have, I have childhood <laughs> memories of being beaten. Like I, I grew up with uh, most of my friends are guys, and I played a lot of video games growing up. And Street Fighter was like that one game that everyone else was so good at that when you start playing, you can't, you can't even try because everyone is so good. They just. It's like uh, like when you first play like a like a like a Call of Duty, and you know you spawn, and then you just get headshot right away. And you have no fucking clue where the where the bullet came from, and you just don't want to play anymore. That's how <laughs> I feel about Street Fighter. Yeah, but I know a lot of people Fighter, kind never... of hate all. Oh, no, I thought you win. <laughs> but I know you would let you would win. you would know it. Yeah, I thought you win. But you but you 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 you're too smart for that. Oh. You wouldn't be like oh I won. Because yeah, you're, I wish you're not I like know. a you're not you're not stupid and you're not like a, a four year old that's like yeah I won the Street Fighter against you. <laughs> <laughs> you would, but if you are dating someone who is a four year old, you can yeah, let them oh, yeah. win a video game. The way to get them As involved. someone who has dated several four year olds, um, <laughs> that is that is a good way. Now, Barney is also wonderful. Yeah. No, but there are <laughs> so, games that you can play cooperatively together. And, like, I mean, you can play, like, New Super Mario Brothers, and everyone can play together. I mean, you can, you know, mess around and throw each other off cliffs, but um, you can also work cooperatively. And then the person feels like they are playing and being involved with this, but it's still kind of easy. Um, like, you can yeah, play Super yeah. Mario Galaxy, I think any game... You give the remote to the second player, and they can collect stars for you. I mean, they might not be doing anything, but you can still talk and have conversation, and they can still... Feel like they're participating. We played Kirby. Yeah, we played Kirby. That was fun. Epic Yarn or uh, no, no, Tony like Dreamland? I like Kirby. I like that one. Kirby was good. That was a yeah. lot of fun. Yeah, the fun game. So that's a game where you're uh, getting to know each other in the process of playing it a little bit because you see each other's yeah. style of playing and interact with each other and stuff. I think that helps a lot. Um, personally, I found out the most about women in my life through playing Animal Crossing with them because while they were playing it, they, it's like, um, what's that stuff you inject into people to make them tell the truth, Tommy? Um, sodium pentothal. Yes, thank you. Somehow I knew you'd know. I was gonna go it's like the sodium pentothal. Your serum, but... <laughs> of course. Yeah. Of course you would. <laughs> For some reason, Animal Crossing is like the sodium pentothal of uh, video games. It like occupies the part of the brain that controls whether you're going to be like strategic socially and like filter your information. So, you know, I'd be dating a girl and I'd be like, do you actually like me? And she's like, that's for me to know and you to find out. Then I'd pop an Animal Crossing and she'd be fishing and I'd be like, so how do you like me now? She's like, I'm madly in love with you, but I don't want you to know. And I'm like, yeah, I nailed it. <laughs> then, then of course, uh, then she stole my GameCube and my Animal Crossing and I didn't see her again for like six months after that because she was so embarrassed that she told me that she loved me and I had to break into her house. Legally, I like you know, this, this you know, legal break-in, the good kind. Sounds like we're going downhill. Yeah. Here. Breaking in anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it was one of those legal break-ins, the good kinds. The, you know, the that's, kind that's, of the police. That's the thing, you can't use the word legal and break-in. They're, they're mutually exclusive. <laughs> I'm innovative in that way. I'm always yeah. trying to think, you know, trying to break boundaries. Oh, we got another question. Unless you want to answer that. I'm sorry, Tommy. I didn't really give Close. you the opportunity to fully answer the question. What game would you use as like an icebreaker with a new date? 
when you're dating on our, and playing on video our games. first date we played um <laughs> what was it mystery case files mystery on wii. case files on the wii and uh i don't know if by myself i would enjoy that game um i enjoyed the game when i played it uh with you uh, Mr. Case Files on the Wii is really fun. I, I wish I had thought of that earlier. That was yeah, because so I mean that's all we did. We did that for like four hours, like after wow. after the, the yeah. football game, base, baseball game. It's like an I Spy. If no one knows what that is, like uh, it's a hidden object. Yeah, game. A hidden object game. And <clears throat> so I mean, you're both playing together and finding objects, and mostly you're just talking. Yeah. Um, it's really good. Yeah, there was one. There was one like scene where it was. <laughs> It was like a crashed motorcycle, and there was like knives and stuff oh, yeah. all around. And it was just odd. Yeah. Oh, find the knives in the motorcycle accident. Yeah. Oh, like, <laughs> why, where's, where's the body? Yeah. Where, where, <laughs> someone was... died here. I know someone died here, but there's no body. Yeah. Oh. Huh. It sounds like it left a lot of space for you guys to kind of make your own fun. I, I think that games yeah, that's that the by your. Part. If you're going to get someone into playing video games with you, or you just want to spend time playing games with somebody, yeah. Make sure you judge what their ability is first off, and then pick your game based on how much kind of interaction and co cooperation. Yeah. No, that makes play sense. Skyrim. Oh, no, that's my next question. Oh. Go continue the question. Next question. <laughs> next question. Yes, Shannon. Uh, Raphael asks, what is the most romantic video game of all time? <laughs> <laughs> that will melt the heart of anybody, regardless of gender, culture, or libido. Skyrim? Really? Skyrim. Oh, for me, I guess. Yeah, so my character in Skyrim is an invisible mage assassin. Oh, it's good. And uh, it, it, gets, I need a moment alone. it gets her riled up <laughs> when I go invisible and I get behind one of those, like, well, anybody, anybody. at this point. Uh, I go behind anybody. I can I can sneak attack dragons and kill them, and that yeah. that gets that gets her all quivery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, quiver as the arrow joke. <laughs> Damn it! That is the arrow to the knee joke. Yeah, yeah I it used, is. I used to they like that it. joke. Then I took an arrow to the game. Is that really? Is that game any good? Really? I think it's good. We set pretty. up Skyrim weekend. I was so excited about it launching because it launched on a Friday. Yeah. And we were going to spend all weekend playing. I made a Skyrim <laughs> yeah, yeah. care package for him. <laughs> it had adult diapers and special Skyrim wrapping paper and a beer helmet. Yeah, so I made put everything in it so that we wouldn't have to leave the couch for the yeah. whole weekend. Yeah. And then, but it turned out that that was the weekend that the guy that we hired to do the Mac port for Super Meat Boy kind of messed up, and then didn't I had it. to do it. So my Skyrim weekend was just stressful. Yeah, but I didn't care because I stayed upstairs and played yeah. Skyrim all weekend. <laughs> she played Skyrim all weekend. I went up there like two or three times. I'm like, oh, that looks fun. I got. And I go. told him to get out because I was busy. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> what do you think of? Because Shannon, you're showing to me. I always knew you were legit. Okay. But that's super legit. What you I doing. I like RPGs. I I heard you don't like the RPGs so much. Who me? Yeah. I like them all right, but I don't yeah. like. Uh, I get bored in a world that's too much like worlds that I've already been to, visually or otherwise. Like I wish Skyrim would switch it up, the way Zelda switches it up every couple of games. They they change the art direction completely, and you know they add a lot of new uh, gimmicks in terms of how you get around and whatnot. Skyrim to me was like upgraded uh, uh, Oblivion, and that's great. But I, I really wanted something fresh. I'm I'm old. That's really my problem. Once you get You're old, old you like what? You're old and crotchety. Yeah, yeah I am. I'm grumpy. Yeah, I want things done my way. And you're, uh, yeah. But I was gonna say you're super legit, Shannon. Not everyone. There's rumors that there's women who are not as legit as you are. No, that's they, a thing. That's... They want male attention. And they know they'll get it. And it happens with sports, too. A lot of women will feign liking like sports. I don't like female sportscasters because I immediately assume that they don't know what they're talking about. And I kind yeah, of feel about that. Yeah. But I don't Though I'm not being sexist. I hope I'm no, not being sexist. No, no. I, I mean, I'm, I guess... Uh, you're, you're being I'm, sexist. I'm being sexist. You're, 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 you're doing <laughs> well, you can be sexist. I can be yeah, you're immune. racist against other beige people. And, and yeah, yeah, yeah. You can I, when I say them. stuff about albinos, I'm immune. Because he is an albino. It's great. <laughs> 
That's part of the reason why I'm dating him because I don't feel so pale next to him. Look at that. You can't even see your hand on yeah, the I background because the white walls are. <laughs> Where is it? Look how big my hand is. You do have huge hands. That's one of the things. They're disgusting. Like have you ever experienced that, Tommy? You're trying to talk to a girl, and she's like, Oh, yeah, you made that super meat thing. That's so hot. I'm so into that shit. You're, you're sexy, and I love video games, too. And then you find out it was all just to get in the sack. That, no, well, that's the only one. Uh, but she actually did like it. Like, my, my last girlfriend didn't even know... Um, didn't even know what Super Meat Boy was until one of the people that helps her with her homework said, Oh, you're dating that Super Meat Boy guy? And she's like, yeah. And he's like, that's kind of a big deal. And then and then that was like her prompt to actually respect what I do. And then when we broke up, she tried to like say, oh, I didn't realize that the game had just came out when, when, when we started. And I'm like, I have a plaque on my, my wall that says, it has all three of the comics that says Super Meat Boy, uh, October 20th, 2010. I'm like, how do you not, that's a, that's numbers, it's a date. That is a date she on the wall. She thought it was Yeah. She was... <laughs> You're so forgiving, Shannon. Yeah. So, uh, Tommy, it's not like you're yet to have video game groupies pretend to love video games in order to... Uh, no. To yeah, I've, I've never had the opportunity because, like, right after Meat Boy, I had my, my rebound girlfriend, which which was the, the, oh, God, Meat Boy's over. What do I do now? I guess I got to date someone. <laughs> and then, so... So I never had any like single time where I would go to an event and have people be like, "Oh, you made you made this game," and then I could actually look at them as like, "Oh yeah, I did." But, but they hit on you anyway. I mean, I went to that Rhythm Heaven Fever event last night, and I'm attached. And yet, you know, not everyone knows that. So so butts found their way near my kind of region down there. I was like, "What's that butt doing there?" And it's just kind of. Ah! Bouncing Ew. up there. Like, no, 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 but, no, but, but uh, that that only happened because weirdly enough, people at this particular event anyway happened to also be people who have seen some of my videos on Destructoid, so that it was a little weird. People knowing who I was and whatnot at a, at a public function that used to happen uh, more when I was on that show we talked about, but these days it doesn't happen that often, so that's weird. Anyway, I should uh, stop talking about myself. You guys are the Get guests on the show, and we have. A, Huh? We need to get what? you back on that show. I'd watch it. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't think anyone else would. But thanks for saying that. Jesse, <laughs> as long as you watch it, <laughs> Jesse asks, I have one thing to say. I am short. Five foot five to be specific. And I, it also doesn't help that I'm 19 and will not be growing any taller. So I would like some advice on how a short guy can get past a girl's superficial view of me. Don't go for Whoa. superficial girls. Yeah. That's your, that's your uh, answer. No. Don't go for superficial yeah. girls. If but, girl... I, you know, I've heard it's in the, the genetic makeup of women to not want to date a guy who is shorter than they are. I think really? you just have to go for short girls. Shannon can speak to that, though, because she's genetically uh, all uh, woman. Be funny. Uh, have be you ever... funny. What? Be funny. It doesn't matter what you look like if you're funny. <laughs> See? doesn't matter what you look like. <laughs> Look at, look at that. Thank you, thank you. Look at that. <laughs> no, really. Be funny, and it doesn't it's, matter how tall you are. No, I mean, you mean don't go for it right away. I mean, if you're if you're not feeling, if you feel like the girl is judging you because because you're short, then yeah, you don't want to be. It's not that worth girl. your time. Yeah, that girl's a bitch. You 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 you're yeah. I just be yourself, um, and. You know, it's, it's always hard. It's easy to say, hey, be confident. But, you know, it's always hard yeah. when you're faced with, like, kind of rejection like that. I, I, I'm not five foot five, but, you know, I got all kinds of rejection because I'm not very attractive and I'm not athletic. Um, and, but those girls, those girls <laughs> that rejected me, uh, they weren't worth the time, you know. Huh. And, and was... it it, you're, like, Sh Shannon thinks I'm hot for some reason. Mm -hmm. I... I don't see it. Yeah. I mean, I think she's hot, but I think the internet thinks she's hot too. So that's a general opinion. I don't know about that. You like by standard conventions, you're extremely attractive. Because I've got a face. No, you have a good face. <laughs> um, <laughs> but, but.
but yeah, you, you you'll find someone that is that is like going to appreciate you for who you are, and mm. you shouldn't you shouldn't need to put on any sort of mask or yeah. you know do anything like if if you want to be the guy that like wears the expensive cologne and the shirts and stuff like that, if that's who you are, then that's that's what you do. If you're the guy that wants to wear hoodies and jeans and wear Autobots t-shirts, that's who you are. And you will find somebody that will that will appreciate that and, and want to be with you. It, it'll take time and it'll take experience and it'll probably take a lot of like failed attempts at relationships. But eventually it should work out because you'll naturally get into this flow where you're comfortable with yourself, which will make you confident, which will make it easier for you to talk to other people. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That makes sense. And and personally, every time I've been rejected, which has been a lot as well, I've found that they were doing me a favor in the long run because th they knew we weren't compatible. Mm -hmm. uh, and they were the one to, to point it out and, and act on it. But it's not like I would have been happy with them in the long run anyway. If someone doesn't like you because of your height, you're there, not the person you want to spend a lot yeah, of time no. with. They're, so, yeah. Take it as a... Uh, uh, save time before you found out the hard way and got all attached and then discover that they suck in other ways. Uh, sure. We have another question. It's similar to a, a question we already had, but I'm going to read it anyway, just to see what you guys say. I'm curious. That's why they call me Whiskers. Do you have any games to recommend for the use of foreplay before sexting? That's why they call me Whiskers. <laughs> I haven't heard that in forever. I can't help but say it every time. It's good. Later. It's yeah. good. <laughs> um, let's see. Any games to recommend? Besides Skyrim. For like pure foreplay. This isn't like dating anymore, I think. That's how the questions differentiate. Like sure. to make a, a, someone aroused deep inside. Those <laughs> those those hentai games with the yeah. tentacles. Yeah, the tentacles. There you go. That's foreplay right there. Or, I actually was talking to a girl, <laughs> a very attractive girl who all of her teeth were spaced apart really far like Totoro. From the and tentacles? Pretty neat. What's that? <laughs> From the tentacles? <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> I don't know. Somehow it came up that she's like, you know, I think porn games are actually classier than real porn because no one's actually having sex. It's all just like a metaphor. And uh, I'll watch that stuff all the time. The boobs are huge, she said. Yeah. It's true, and, they are. I, f I played a fair share of Have porn you? games. Yeah, I was single. Not like me? I was single for seven years. Of course I did. Oh, why don't we play them? Also, I did yesterday. Why, why did you not play with me? I don't know, you were sleeping. I had a, I, you know, what am I gonna do? I, and in between like a magic draft, gotta do something. Yeah, I learned how to play magic the other day. Yeah. Um, magic the Gathering? The ga no, we just it call it nice the gathering. Game. It's the, the those in the know. Oh. The we just called the gathering. Um, I don't know. As far as like a four play game, I don't. I think Uncharted works on women. I've met women who are like actively fantasizing about Nathan Drake's behind the entire time. The entire time they play that game, and not so much Metal Gear. That's I, uh, I met some uh, homosexual gentlemen who have played Metal Gear for the ass. But for ladies, it seems as though the preference may be Uncharted. Shannon, your thoughts? Your thoughts. Uh, I haven't played Uncharted because I don't have a... PlayStation 3? No. I... Yeah, he has one, but he didn't want me to pre-order it. I didn't. Well, you needed to play the first two. It would be, it'd be like watching Back to the Future 3, going, what is going on? So you just answer all my stupid questions. I will not answer any questions. Also, I don't. I didn't play through. I haven't played through two yet. I played the first one. That was that was fun. I fantasized about his his butt too. <laughs> What's good in these? Fully sculpted. I I thought it was awesome how he can climb anything. It's I awesome. like him more when he's fat, like by a lot. Like regular Nathan Drake is like, oh, an athletic man can be athletic. That's a surprise. Yeah. Whereas when he's four hundred pounds, I'm like totally rooting for him, especially in the romance scenes. It's like, yeah. Like we were saying before, you know, be confident no matter who you are, yeah. and and score, and that's what Fat Nathan Drake can do. I love him. What about right, Grand Theft Auto? Grand Theft Auto's a good one. Yeah, is that a turn on, Shannon? Grand Theft Auto. For me, it was because for me it was a turn on because you get the hooker. You get the hookers, yeah. Yeah, 
you do your business in the car, you drop the hooker off under a bridge, and then you run the car into her. And then you get your money back. Then you back. get your money. <laughs> you get paid. Yeah. This is the, the most. The end surprising. part is what gets me, is when I run the car into him. Yeah. One and time, that's what he's done. It's like, come yeah. on, uh, run her over. One time, one time. I knocked a barrel over onto uh, like a flaming barrel, and the the hooker caught on fire. <laughs> and I laughed to the point there was tears. <laughs> and that's still an image that I play in my head when I need to I need to get going. Oh, oh, to get going, I yeah. just to cheer up. I to cheer up. It's a good. Is that why you're asking about flaming barrels the other day? Yes. Yeah. I, that's why I wanted to go to that bridge. Yeah. <laughs> Why do barrels always, they're always flammable in video games. You ever notice that? It's like, yeah, well, see, this was, a special, this was a special barrel fire, you know, because the bumps have the little barrel fire. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Trash can. So it was a homeless off and She walked by it, and then, like, I hit the, I, tr <laughs> I tried to hit her with the car, but she, like, jumped out of the way, but it hit the barrel. Barrel caught her on fire. Yeah. And this was like and the rest was magic. That was the funniest thing I've ever seen. We have an audio question coming in soon from a gentleman named Matt from Cleveland. I think it's gonna happen. Is it happening, oh, Conrad? I'll have that in just a second. Oh, that's Conrad Zimmerman, our engineer. There was one before that. What is this? Oh yeah, I'll do that. You want me to do that one? There. A gentleman named Sheep, or it might be a lady actually. E either way, someone named Sheep asks. I'd like to see a. I'd like to see polyamory explored more in games. Given the dynamic nature of video games as a medium, and the infinite possibilities for characters contained within a game, I feel like games are a great place to explore non-traditional relationships. What do you think? I think that's weird. <laughs> whatever you want to do. I mean, you, yeah, whatever you want. Can't you do that in Fable? Uh, like have two boyfriends or two girlfriends or something. Polyamory? That's not like. Are you talking about, isn't he like, talking about like having? Um, uh, isn't he talking about having like just online relationships with people versus or alongside not polygons. Your, your regular not polygons. relationships? I thought it was more the Mass Effect deal, you know, like having. Oh, sex. that. Oh, that's fine then. Yeah, yeah. I don't think it's. Um, I think he actually means para, amory. Para meaning like other or multiple, like having sex with a wall or a bicycle. You ever seen those guys who just hop on balloons and like before they know it, they, they change their pants? You know <laughs> no, those guys? But, uh, you haven't seen those that. guys, Connor? Yeah. No? Yeah, I've I, seen them. I've seen a lot of stuff. I haven't seen that. It's all right. It's all right to watch, I guess. <laughs> Bopping around. Uh, I just don't think that you'll ever, you're ever going to see that because it's not really appealing to the masses. Yeah, that's true. It's yeah, like good, the, yeah. the the only people that are gonna like make that game, I mean, uh, are are gonna be like independent developers who are into it themselves. and who who are into it themselves. <laughs> so you just went from like a this you, pool you of went from possibilities Mass Effect, this big. Yeah. You went from Mass Effect to like there's three people maybe yeah. in the world. That yeah. Have well, and uh, and anthropy, Auntie. Uh, that's honestly that's exactly what I was gonna say. Yeah. She's getting she's getting more press. She was on like NPR or something, I think, or they talked about her. No, no, that wasn't actually her. That was Lee Alexander talked about talking about her once. But but that's something that's bigger than before. That's uh that's it's a guy but it's named Anne or something. Yeah, yeah. A what now? Anna's and yeah, Anna's the the, the guy, guy that identifies as a female. Yeah. But he's just right. a guy. She is just Yeah, she's she's confusing to me. I think uh, I think she's though. mid transition. I haven't been keeping up. I, I, yeah, I don't, I don't, oh, in the process of. I have no. I think so. I think I, I saw a tweet from Anna a few months ago with like long hair, saying that uh, she was called Ma'am, so the hormones are working and whatnot. So yeah, go Anna. The one yeah, time yeah, I yeah, saw whatever. that was just like. A... Oh yeah, the the most the most I know about Anna is she knows what she's talking about when it comes to design. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's really that's, smart. Yeah, kind of, a little oh, harsh that's though. What's that? I think she can be kind of mean to uh. To oh, games she's, that... she's totally harsh. She is. Yeah, it's <laughs> she gets she gets like super passionate about stuff, and yeah, it's she gets harsh, and I think she like jumps the gun a lot of the times. Like I, I know she was like bitching about indie game the movie, and like how could she bitch about what it was about when she hasn't seen it? 
Yes, indeed. It's a lot of a lot of anger there, but a lot of good ideas too. So. Oh yeah, tons. I mean, she, she knows design. Like no one can ever argue that. Anybody that does is yeah, anybody that like argues that is really just more looking at the the kind of unorthodox way that she is, you know, versus mm. what she actually puts out. Because if you play her games, her games are designed well and they're good. Yeah, absolutely. I kind of feel that way about Jim Sterling too. People see the 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 passion first and sometimes miss the ideas but we have an audio question coming in uh i guess we're gonna do it conrad do that thing so uh hi there uh jonathan uh shannon and tommy uh my name's matt i'm from cleveland uh this is not something i would normally do uh but in the spirit of being a fan of the show i will embarrass myself and throw this question to you guys um i started dating this girl recently um i like her and i thought she liked me and Recently, uh, the last date we went on, she suggested we hang out again. Uh, the following week, I called her. She said she was sick and she might not be able to hang out that week. I, um, being the uh, pessimist that I am, assumed that meant, well, that's it. She doesn't want to hang out anymore. Um, so uh, she said she would text me throughout the week and let me know. Um, I never received a text um, until Friday when I realized that my phone was being stupid. And I got a text that she had sent the following day after calling me and saying that she would be available to hang out Friday. So I received this on Friday morning, and I returned her text and said, yeah, you know, if it's not too late, I would like to hang out tonight. And uh, she never got back to me. And it's Sunday now, and I still haven't heard back. So does she hate me and never want to see me again? Or am I crazy? Okay, thanks. Aww. Well, that's, 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 that's I feel bad. genuinely heartfelt uh, problem he's got. That, that sense of... Uh, a lack of assurance about that's, that's something you good. thought was legit. That's a terrible feeling. Absolutely. That is a terrible feeling. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't believe... Let's let's see. Let's see. To figure this out. So he said he said his phone was messed up for a week, right? I think so. Yep. And he said that the, the girl texted him after she called him? That's that's what he said. Like, the, like in, in my mind, the timeline went... I think after went, she said... She was sick and couldn't hang out this week. Yeah, and then she would text him to let him know, but his phone was dead, so never got the texts, right? Until okay. until Friday. Yeah. So she was probably thinking, like, that... I don't know. I would imagine that she would be thinking, like, if, if, if those texts were earlier on in the week and she didn't hear until, like, Friday morning that, oh yeah, hey, let's let's hang out or something, after she like sent something, let's say, earlier on in the week, that maybe she thought that he wasn't interested in her. And mm -hmm. um, I don't know. What it is, the, the, the fundamental problem there is like a breakdown in communication. I mean, that's exactly what it is. So I would think that, I, I don't think she hates you and never ever wants to see you again. Um, I would think that the, the best thing to do would be like explain the situation to her and just and just really just reopen the lines of communication and because that's the best way to work everything out and if you go into it assuming that she hates you or something like that you know that's that's going to that's going to come through in, in in what you say and how you say it so just go into it that something something fucked up in the lines of communication and 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 we're going to fix it and we're going to make it we're going to make it so so we resolve this and then if she still doesn't like want to see you after that and she like you know, it's just put off that maybe your your phone was dead and then that you didn't get back to her, then it might be a bullet dodge. But I don't know, chances are if you guys, were actually, if she wanted to like hang out with you and you know, you enjoyed her company and everything, it can probably be worked out with just getting back in touch and, and, mm -hmm. and recultivating the communication. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One thing I found uh, with communication with people who like video games a lot so that not always, but oftentimes, people who like video games a lot are introverts in that they recharge their social energy by taking time away from people. So a lot of my friends, both uh, who work for Destructoid and those who don't, and women I've dated who like video games a lot, they won't like get back to me for a little while sometimes. And I'll feel, um, you know, worried that maybe I just said something wrong and 
one time I pulled the swingers thing and called someone like five times in a row and each message getting more and more like uh, emotionally <laughs> disturbing and embarrassing. Uh, but yeah, there's no need to panic if you're dealing with an introvert. If you're dealing with an introvert who's like just needs to play Skyrim for eight hours because they've had a rough week and they just don't want to deal with any human interaction, uh, leave them alone and they'll get back to you when they're ready. Um, I found that that's helped a lot with um, someone I'm actually... We did the Rhythm Heaven uh, Fever video last night, the, someone's uh, new camera operator for me, and I hadn't heard from her in forever. And then all of a sudden she's like, not only do I want to hang out, but let's do this trip together. And uh, everything was fine. So yeah, with introverts, don't panic. They'll get back to you when they're ready. That's my thought. Shannon, your thoughts? Um, yeah, I definitely don't go overboard with the texting and <laughs> trying to get mm. in touch with them. Let them know what happened, like what Tommy said, and open the lines of communication again if they want. But don't communicate to the point where you may be yeah, seeming... Yeah, throw it out there. Put the ball in their court, and if they get back to you, great. If they don't, then you'll find something better. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it, it probably didn't work out for a reason, you know. It happens to girls, too. It's not just dudes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. I think girls just... There's a few times when I've dated somebody and never, you know, we're, we make plans to hang out, and then nothing happens. Huh. I tried to do that. He tried, but I was like, no, I'm, you're mine. <laughs> you I tried to do that, Tommy? You were like... Yeah, I, didn't, I don't want to hang out with her again. I don't like Mystery Case Files. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like Mystery Case Files and baseball. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see Tommy again after our first date. Aww. That's so yeah, great. I know. Will you, if you do get a dog together, will you at least, like, make his middle name Jonathan? Yes. Yeah? yeah. You're committing to that now? Oh, uh, yeah. We'll have... His name will be Xavier Optimus Jonathan Prime. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Aw, it's touching. Yeah. You know, I, I do think that a lot of guys in general, uh, guys who like video games and guys that don't, miss out on the fact that women um, have uh, romantic panic and trouble and turmoil as well. I know a lot of guys just assume that uh, the realm of romantic activity is the one place that a woman is always fully in charge in their own mind, especially in the, the beginning stages. But Shannon, it sounds like you haven't found that to be the case. No, I was single for four years until I met Tommy. That's weird, weren't like hot dudes just hitting on you all the time and stuff? I said the same thing. Yeah, man. No. People around here must be fucking stupid. I <laughs> I don't know, it's not, like, I, I mostly, I did a lot of internet dating, um, just because I couldn't find She means find through Second here. Life. Yeah, through Second Life. <laughs> no. No, I just, I couldn't find it. Are you finding guys in bars is, you can all, I mean, that's not uh, really, uh, sometimes it works, don't get me wrong, there's always exceptions to the rule, but most of the guys you meet in a bar are just, like, drunk assholes. Mm. Yeah. So, it sounds like finding someone who... Not just wanted to go on a date, but like actually wanted to do like a legit like, finding, relationship. Yeah, time. finding someone that wanted to more than just like you know casually hang out. Let's say that's a good way of putting it for the families. That was family yeah. friendly. With you, it was. Yeah. I understand. I understand like, what you're and trying to tell me. I wanted to date somebody, and I couldn't find that, and then I had a hard time, and. Um, then I met Tommy, and everything. Every time we went out, it was just. He was on, we were on the same page with everything, and I, I was like, at first I was nervous, and I didn't want, I didn't believe that he actually wanted to, like, get, go out with me more. <laughs> I thought that he just wanted to, you know, I thought, I don't know, just assumed you were, like, one of the other guys, and then he wasn't. You thought I was, like, one of the other guys? Yeah. When? I don't know. You're not one of the other guys, Tommy. That's the important part of the message. That was freaking heartwarming. I want to, like, turn that into a Valentine's Day greeting. <laughs> freaking, no, I, just, not I was so used to not having somebody want to do anything more with me than casually hang out. That right. like, he wanted to actually date me and have a relationship with me. I, I was like, okay, I can't get too invested in this because... You know, this is not gonna happen. It's freaking adorable. My cat's at the door. Just one second. Then we're gonna do the the final wrap up. That's okay. okay. I want to see the cat. Yeah. yeah. I just hit my elbow. Maximum.
All right, so we're gonna wrap it up. It's my cat. It's one of my cats anyway. She's pretty cool. You can uh, you put her on your head. <laughs> Whatever. She's cool. With it. She's pretty casual. Freak out if you do. My that. cat would would tear me up if I did that. Yeah, yeah. this is a good cat, man. She's part ragdoll, I think. You look like the little darkling from the Darkness Two with the cat hat. I'll take that as a compliment. Yeah, yeah. she'll uh, she can be a beard. Pretty good yeah. beard there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> be upside down for you. This cat. But anyway, I should wrap up the uh, the show. Conrad's got to go do stuff, and then someone else is coming on the live stream. You guys have any final thoughts? Just general thoughts for men, women, wanting to get out there, hit the dating world, but also have this thing about them that makes them love video games. That I, I will say, sadly, that. some people frown on it. But but what the should people, they do? The people that frown on it aren't the people you want to be with. Yes. Because if you're someone that enjoys video games, uh, if you take if you take and you you enjoy video games and you decide that. Oh, okay, that's an immature thing that I need to cut out of my life. And let's say you get with somebody and they never know that you actually like video games. You're going to resent that person and your relationship is going to be crap because of that. So mm -hmm. hey, be, be honest with yourself and just trust in the fact that there are members of the opposite sex that feel the same way and have the same interests as you do. And you will find them eventually. Yeah. You agree, Shannon? Yeah, you don't want to be that guy that, uh, okay, I played the World of Warcraft, let's not lie, that's talking event about not being able to play for the rest of the raid because his wife is angry that he's playing. Like, don't be that person because it's going to suck. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't start a relationship based on lies because like eventually you're going to be... raid with you. Yes, raid with me. He won't raid with me. I won't raid with her. I don't like World of Warcraft. <laughs> yeah, but you guys play other stuff. And, it, you know, it's not all about... But at the same token, I don't think you should love someone just because they play video games either. Uh, it's got to be about a little bit more than that, but it certainly doesn't hurt to have a starting point, common ground. We gotta go. Conrad's what? mad. Conrad's Con mad. Oh, I'm sorry, Conrad. Uh, I'm gonna say goodbye. Do you? Do you? Anything? No. Not oh, okay. All right. Well, thanks for watching the show, everybody. I love you a lot. Next week, we're going to have some guys on. I think from Gaijin Games. I think we're going to get Gaijin Games on to talk about... Uh... Those guys suck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, and uh, Tyrone Rodriguez says hi, Shannon. He said you were cool. Hi, Tyrone. I love him. He's good. Hi, Tyrone. Not in that way. I mean, friendship love. <laughs> is, is it over? Oh,